Good morning. It's a 3,500 mile walker here. So last night I went to REI and I bought a new pair of shoes to start walking in. Um, trying to see about getting away from my typical hiking boots into an actual pair of walking or running shoes. Um, see how they feel for the walk. So I tried on several pairs, a couple different brands, different models. And the one I chose is the Hoka, the uh, Clifton. And I wear a size 13, so that's what I got. So I'm gonna kind of do a review and show you what I got, tell you how I think they feel. So, there's Nico, say hi. Hi Nico, baby. Okay, so this is out of the box. So here's what they look like. So that's the Hoka I chose. And <clears throat> they've got these numbers here on the side that I guess represent something like, uh, she said, the spring load, the volume, and the W. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing width. Um, but all their shoes have different numbers on them. Some are very close. Some are similar or exactly the same. So these are the ones that felt comfortable to me. They... Uh, don't have a whole lot of give here, which is supposed to be better for your feet, according to the doctor. So we'll see how they work. And uh, we'll give them a try, and we'll let you know what we think. All right, so let's pull out the other one, just so you can see them both. So that's them next to each other. So I will have to take into consideration when I'm, you know, given my opinion on it, which probably doesn't matter to anybody, but um, I do have a problem with my right pinky toe. Um, it's got a big blister on it right now, and it's something that kind of is there quite a bit. I just, I can't figure out a way. I've taped wrapped. I've done, you know, double socks, toe socks, everything. I keep getting that one blister. So I'll take that into consideration, obviously, when I say whether or not I like these shoes. So we're going to go for our 14 mile walk today, and we'll see how they do. All right, thanks for watching. Third five hundred mile walker here, and Nico, the cross country dog, and so we're still testing out our Hoka shoes for the first time, and we're at about mile five right now, doing fourteen today, and they're feeling really good so far. Uh, um, did some filming back there with uh, walking across dirt, gravel, pavement, cement, and. Uh, some grass as well 
So when you see the whole video, just for the shoes, you'll see that. But they're feeling good so far. Uh, the only problem is obviously they're not designed for um, like really downhill, loose gravel and stuff. And I went down one little section. And the first time I went down, I did actually slip and almost fell on my ass, but I was able to catch myself. I ended up having to run down it. Um, and then tried it again and was able to walk down without falling. So that's where we got right now. And we're almost to our donut shop. So we're gonna get our treat for the morning. Keep on going. All right, thanks for watching. Keep on moving. All right, we're still walking. Um, we're at about 12 miles now. Shoes are still feeling good. Doesn't seem to be any new issues. Uh, my right foot's always kind of jacked up, so whatever I've been having going on with that, it's still there. So this isn't helping that, but it's not, they're not making them any worse. So, so far I'm pretty happy with the shoes. And Nico's still running around. Got some energy. So, um, we'll see how we go. Got uh, about two and a half miles left to go before we're done with our walk this morning. And we'll let you know at the end what we think. All right, so I finished up the uh, my first day test of the Hoka shoes that I just bought. And that was several hours ago, but I wanted to wait because I had some spots on my feet that I was waiting to see if we're gonna turn into blisters. And they didn't. They're just uh, pressure spots on my feet that just get a little more tension than the rest. So they were white when I took off my shoes. And so all in all, I enjoyed the shoes. Um, I think they're gonna work out good. Um, Comfort-wise, they were good. They're really lightweight. Um, I don't know how durable they're going to be, um, but I'm only walking on pavement and stuff, not these kind of trails like I am right here. So I'm out for another walk on the same day. So, um, and grip-wise, they were really good on everything. I went on grass, uh, some loose gravel, some hard-packed dirt, uh, asphalt, cement. All right, so the only issue I had with the shoe um, was a section of trail that's probably 30, 40 feet long. Um, and again, the shoes aren't designed for this. They're walking, running shoes for hard, flat surfaces. But uh, it was uh, steep and loose, gravelly dirt. And the first time I walked down it, I slipped and almost fell on my ass. Um, I had to run all the way down. And then I did it again, and it went a little slower, and it held its grip. So. It can do it, it's just not really designed for it. And you gotta be a lot more careful than you do with regular hiking boots. So, all in all, I'm happy with the boots, or the shoes, I mean. And hopefully they continue to work out and they can help me on my walk across America. So, hope this video helped you and answered any questions you had. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or like, or love, or follow, or all that good stuff. All right, keep on moving.